Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 484. It's Monday, March 18th, 2013, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, Internet Talk Radio for your imagination. Mike Matthews broadcasting from the last place on earth located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California. Today, we hear from Adam Rudebega, Valentino, Bison Bentley, plus the segment Mike's Cassette Cubbyhole, where we hear an interview I did 10 years ago with a singer who ended up being a judge on a famous TV talent show. Mike's Daily Podcast. And today, interesting news about our our ancestors came out and maybe some of those inbreeding jokes Mike's daily podcast may be applicable here it may have been a common practice among early human ancestors fossil show the evidence comes from a human skull from a hundred thousand years ago as one researcher put it these populations were probably relatively isolated very small and as consequence fairly inbred and were related the skull was found in the Nihiwan Basin of northern China. Mike's Daily Podcast. And Chrysler's were calling about 4,459 Dodge Challenger V6 cars because they could catch fire. Up. Mike's. And that's not good. Daily. They're from the 2013 podcast. Year. It's a possible electrical problem. Yeah. That could cause a fire. You know, a lot of people that were in radio ended up going into selling cars. This is something I've discovered being immersed in the radio culture. How difficult is it to sell cars when you're like, oh, yeah, we just recalled a bunch of that car because it catches fire. But check out this car. It may or may not catch on fire. Oof. Okay, I guess they just did. Look who just walked in. Hello, Michael Matthews. This is my dog. You, the big girl. And I'm crossed out by hearing that my ancestors were in pretense. Ooh. Yeah, and before you make a joke about the South, that, oh, this skull was found in the South, as I mentioned, it was actually found in North Ern, China. Michael Massey, you lived in Alabama for a while. Was there a lot of in jokes? Actually, yeah, a lot of Alabamanians. You know, I lived there two years, and I still don't know what we called ourselves. alabama Um uh, We would make fun, or they would make fun. I would hear them say jokes about that kind of thing. Like, oh yeah, we're known for that. Ha 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 and so forth. Michael Matthew, is that something that they would say is so forth? No. Look who else just walked in. Oh dear Mike, this is Valentino the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Guys, what do you think about this whole thing with the thing and thing? Could you be more specific, Day? Yeah, we don't know what the heck you're talking about. We don't know that. The Chrysler, the, the Dodge 2013 Challenger V6 being recalled. Mike, I've noticed that a lot in the packing lot. Whenever I'm packing a K, I see a lot of electrical problems there. So I have to try and fix the electrical problems, and then I end up hot wiring it and driving off with the god day. Yeah, we steal cars. Do you know that? Oh, boy. So you guys are working here at the last place on earth parking cars and then you are also stealing them yeah you don't pay us anything yeah zip i didn't know that do you know that? no i didn't anyway uh well maybe you know we can make some money off of the you know people getting their cars back oh wait that would be a ransom and that wouldn't be any better you guys i think you're going to jail yeah that's who these guys are that are taking us away by madam wow there they go Justice is swift. I know, Michael Matthew, but I am lamenting. Why, you miss Valentino and Bison Bentley? No, I hate them. I Especially that little guy. Bison Bentley? Yeah, he says that same thing over and over again. Ooh! The, do you know? Yes, I hate that! Okay. No, Michael Matthew, I am sad that St. Patrick's Day is over. Yes, it is over, and I'm happy it's done because... I was getting a little too much green. That that green part of my retina is burnt out because I've seen too much green. Michael Masu, I love the color green. Well, I can't see it. It's been an overload on my retinas. Darn you, St. Patrick's Day, for killing my green sensor retina. Maybe I would have better retina genes if my ancestors weren't so busy inbreeding. But you can tell me what you think about that whole interesting discovery by archaeologists. They find such interesting things, don't they? 
and what you think about the whole Chrysler blowing up cars thing. And, you know, just anything that may pop into your mind, we read your comments on the section emails from email. Just email me, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. Also email me there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you'd like to sponsor the show, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. We also have a website. It's mikesdailypodcast.com. Go there. Tell your friends about it and tell them to go there because there you will find the blog and the podcast picture that we tell you about every day, as well as links to where to find us in iTunes and subscribe to the show in iTunes. More people find out about us if you do that. And you can rate this show there as well as comment on it. And you can also find our Facebook page. There's a link to go to where you can yelp about us. You can find our Twitter and our YouTube all there at Mike's Daily Podcast.com. It's splendid. Mike's cassette copy. So I don't know if you heard this news because I, I can't talk to you, you know, now because you're listening to me and this is recorded at eight o'clock on Monday, March the 18th, 2013. We went over all that earlier, but there's a story that has surfaced about Blake Shelton possibly cheating on the lovely Miranda Lambert. All right, for all of you who don't know, Miranda Lambert is this awesome country singer, and the Blake Shelton is a country singer who hosts one of, is one of the judges actually on a TV show called The Voice, along with CeeLo, Christina Aguilera, and Adam Lambert. And Blake Shelton has been quite popular on the country music format. And in a recent cinemablend.com article, it said, for the past week, rumors have swirled that Blake Shelton cheated on Miranda Lambert. Uh, This alleged infidelity involved a younger woman and an irate Miranda supposedly even confronted her about what happened. Not surprisingly, fans of the goofy and musical couple haven't been too pleased about the possibility of a marriage implosion. But if those actually involved in a relationship are to be believed, nothing happened at all. Blake Shelton tweeted, Hey, I just read in a tabloid that our marriage is falling apart. Talking to Miranda Lambert. And then Miranda responds to Blake, "Uh, Just read in a tabloid that our marriage is falling apart. Oh no, can't wait to read if we make it or not. Rumors about supposed Blake infidelities have swirled before, especially after Miranda admitted that she reads her husband's Twitter direct messages because he follows way too many random hot girls. Mm. Flirting and actually cheating on Miranda are two completely different things, it says. However, there's no solid proof he's done anything wrong. Still, that hasn't stopped the whispers. Well, interestingly enough, I interviewed Blake Shelton. I never got to interview Miranda Lambert, but I did interview Blake Shelton 10 years ago. It was actually on my birthday, November 22nd, 2002. And he stopped by the country radio station I was working at. Now, I have to tell you, there's an interesting mention here of my wife, who we were just dating back then. And she used to bring by on my birthday a carrot cake which she did that birthday as well. So that's kind of cute. Also, we mentioned the song The Baby. He had just released it, and that song went to number one. He's had a bunch of number ones, and that one went to number one. It was a song about a guy hearing that his mother was dying, and he tries to drive home to her house in time to see her before she dies, and he misses misses it just before she passes away, and he cries like a baby is the last line of the song. It's kind of sad. And also, you'll enjoy my interviewing style. It was very Chris Farley-like at that point. I still have a little bit of the Chris Farley SNL sketch syndrome. You can watch those old SNLs and see how Chris used to interview like Paul McCartney and go, you remember when you said that the love you make is equal to the love you take? And Paul McCartney's like, yes, I do. And Chris Farley's like, oh, that was cool. You'll hear some of that interviewing style there. Thank you, Chris Farley, for your influences. Blake Shelton stopping by. Blake, we don't have any hard alcohol here. We just have root beer and sarsaparilla. But I'm getting a funny feeling just drinking that. It. I don't understand why. I get a little woo. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Is it the caffeine? It could be. Or, you know, we just keep it on the shelves for a long time and it starts to... <laughs> it's just gone bad and it's making us sick is what it is. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, somebody wanted to stop by since today is the day that the James Bond movie comes out. Here's our chef. He wanted to say something. Hello, Blake Shelton. I wanted to tell you, don't go see that James Bond movie. No Because I'm the real James Bond. Bond. Uh, James Bond. It's not uh, Pierce Bronson, uh, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm Sean Connery. I'm so insulted I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, okay. He's, he's going to go cook something for us. Okay, he, good. We well, should eat something. He may spit in my food now. Don't worry about it. We, You you are a connoisseur of, of uh, many different types of food. I mean, like with... Cause you, I am. Okay. Because you, cause you, you know, do the hunting. Okay, I'll see what you're getting. At. I was going there, yeah. Okay. So you've actually eaten probably some interesting different types. I mean, anything really crazy? Like a... Uh, I ate uh, some uh, uh, rattlesnake uh, about two years ago, uh, uh, which uh, doesn't taste like snake. It tastes like uh, crap to me. <laughs> uh, that's just my opinion, though. I'm sure some people enjoy it. Uh, it's but, no good, I don't think. But put a little Worcestershire sauce on it, and I bet oh, it tastes awesome. It'll taste it's just it. like Worcestershire, which is delicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was, but you had to eat it because it was just, there was nothing else to eat for miles around. And well, here's, uh, you, you want to know what happened? Sure. So, yeah. I, you know, I was going uh, deer hunting uh, uh, with my bow and arrow, and, and uh, I was walking through the woods, and there was this big rattlesnake laying in the path in front of me, and, uh, you know, I, I freaked out a little bit, and. Uh, you know, my first thought was, man, just get away from it. And, but I have to come back through the woods tonight, you know, when it's dark. And I don't want to step on it then, too, you know. So I decided to uh, uh, really freak out. So I grabbed a big log and I, I beat it until uh, oh. it was lifeless. And uh, then I felt bad, though. Uh-huh. And so I took it back to camp and we skinned it and, and ate it because I felt I at least deser- it deserved to be eaten. Oh, uh, I thought when you said when you felt bad, you were going to try and resuscitate it. No, because, uh, you know, mouth to mouth with a rattlesnake. Uh, uh, and I don't know how to give a snake the Heimlich. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> that could be difficult. Right. It's... I chose to eat it instead, though, which uh, it's no good, I promise. It's no, no. good. Now, Animal Planet just called, and they mm-hmm. want you to start your own show. <laughs> where it, I'm it, sure they love me. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Well, Blake, what what should we play first? Uh, should we play with... Are you talking about a game? Are you? T- uh, yeah. The, uh, I have some board games. Okay. Let's, Let's play. Let's p- Actually... Okay, that's not... I just have some paper plates uh, because it's my birthday. Uh, uh, ha- my happy girl- birthday, by the way. You. 22 years old today. That's, Amazing. That no, that's you. i huh? I'm a little older. Than Are you really? But let's go with it. 22. What the heck? With you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I I had uh, my girlfriend brought by. She does this as a tradition. She brings a uh, carrot cake on my birthday. Okay. So. I, it's in the fridge. I don't know if you want any of it. Do you like? Not carrot? now. Uh, no. Sean, Sean is actually cooking us something. That's uh, right. So I was going to. He's wait. working out his anger, his frustration that he's no longer Pierce Brosnan. Mm-hmm. Um, that he, I don't know what that meant. I don't he, he, that he's no longer doing the movies. Right. So we'll he does s- movies. He just doesn't do the uh, you know James Bond movies. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't done anything in a while. Well, he sucks. That. No, I, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> I'm sure uh, there's many fans of his that are going to call the station and be mad at him. Oh, you weren't talking about Sean Connery. You were talking about Sean Tastes Like Snake. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that guy. He's, Pen. Uh, Sean. There's so many. Yeah. But 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 Blake Shelton, you have a song called The Baby. I do. I'm going to play that one. Please do. And and by the way, it is, it's a great song. and. Thank you. Do you what, is there a story behind this that you found? How you found the song? I actually, I actually found the song uh, last, almost this time last year, last December, and and uh, I went in and recorded it immediately because I didn't want anybody else, you know, to get the song because I'm selfish that way. And uh, uh, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. And and I've been uh, kind of hiding it from the record company all this time because uh, I knew once they heard it, they'd want to rush it out and. So we we figured that it was a good time of the year to, to go ahead and get it out, and it's doing well for us. I'm excited about it. it. It's a it's a good song. You do some great singing on that. Thank you. You can totally uh, it it fits the very mood and the story of the song, and you 
put a lot into it vocally. I appreciate that, it's a bro. Great, I don't know what I'm saying.